Hello Rosa. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Rosa, vos durante el día eh, practicas con gente en inglés o hablas con otra gente en inglés? No. Es que um, siento que eso es lo que te hace falta, esa, esa práctica para poder ir avanzando un poco más. Veo que puedes bastante la gramática y estructuras cuando estás viendo, pero como que te cuesta un poquito el hablado. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, um, lo que sí siento que me ha ayudado algo uh -huh. es como que ver series en Netflix. Uh -huh. o ver películas en Netflix. Eso es bueno para la comprensión, pero yo digo para poder expresarte tú misma. He visto que, como que estos últimos días, cuando te pregunto que digas algo, como que para formular las preguntas la, o las oraciones y todo, te cuesta bastante. Sí. Ok. Entonces, eso es lo más importante. Debemos de ir buscando una forma de cómo puedes practicar en el día o con otra gente o unirte, o unirte a grupos de, así como de chat o algo para hablar con gente. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Estudias o no me acuerdo qué me dijiste que haces durante el día? Mm. Bueno, ahorita solo estudio con esas cosas. So, o sea, todo el día no haces nada, solo aquí. Sí. Ok, ok. Perfecto. Ya vamos a buscar una forma para que puedas practicar con gente y ir mejorando eh, tu tu expresión oral, que es lo que yo okay. siento que es lo que más falta para poder lograrlo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. All right. Vamos a intentar. Rosa, tell me about your day. What did you do today? Mm, wake up. Mm, wake up. A -M. I... Mm, I eat my baby. Mm, uh, I no, bring my. No correct, no correct. No te comiste a tu bebé. No. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Eh, eh, Le diste. Le diste comer a mi bebé. Ajá, me imaginé. Ok. So, no, I eat my baby is in the chat. I fed my baby in the chat. You can see. I, I feed in the past is I fed. Okay. Uh -huh. In the present, le doy de I, lo alimento is I feed. In the past, I, I fed, fed my baby. My baby. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I clean in my... ¿Cómo se dice? Antía? Que no tiene dientes todavía. ¿Cómo se dice? Antía. Antía. Ansía. ¿Qué es ansía? Ansía es como cuando uno tiene dientes. Ah, las encías. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá. Ok, ajá, yo. Mm, ok, gums. La palabra ¿Cómo? La conclusión es gums. Es en la chat. Um, you clean the gums. De ver, in my, de ver, uh, I clean my... My, ¿Cómo dice? Gums. Gums. Uh, but I take to drink water. I'm a baby. Uh, okay. then, um, um, prepare to prepare my my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 u
Mamá, baby. Mm -hmm. Le doy de mamar a mi bebé. Ah, I, I feed my baby. I feed my baby. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes what? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes to a basic a sleep or uh prepare uh to long my baby. Okay. Decime, ¿qué es lo que quieres decir en español? A veces aprovecho a dormir cuando no hay de mamá de bebé o preparo el almuerzo de mi bebé. ¿Y cómo crees que se dice aprovecha? Aprovecho. Ajá, en inglés, ¿cómo es que se dice? Mm, Advertet. Algo así creo que Sí, 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 así es, solo que eh, no es de esa forma. Sometimes I take advantage, no solo advantage, I take advantage of my baby sleeping. Sometimes I take advantage of my baby sleeping. Uh, Sunday took. Take. Take a, uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. um, Um. Okay. No problem. Or sleep them. Mm -hmm. Or prepare to my lunch. Okay. I prepare my lunch. I prepare my lunch. Okay. Um, I clean my house. I clean my house. I clean my, my house. Okay, good. All right. Well, pretty nice, little by little. I'm glad I see we have more people connected. That's excellent. In this moment, we're going to begin. Um, the first thing we want to do is practice a little bit. We want to practice uh, reviewing the verbs in the past tense. How are we going to review the verbs in the past tense? We're going to ask the partner, what did you do today? And the partner is going to describe the things, the activities, all of the, all of the actions uh, or routines, okay? Okay. Perfect. So remember, what did you do today? And then ask your questions and ask and ask for your partner to develop the past tense. Only five minutes and then we come back. Astrid Carlos?
Okay, we are back. Lillian, you ready? Any vocabulary, any questions? Okay, I, I only listened the uh, thing that Rosa tried to tell me. Good. Now explain what Rosa said. Uh, Rosa says that she woke up at 8 a.m. After that, she fed. No? No, he. She. She. She fed the her baby, and he prepared the prepared the water to the baby too. And after that, she did her breakfast. Good, but no did she made her breakfast. She made her breakfast. Excellent. All right. Sandra, tell me about your partner. get up at the and we said that he going to help to her big brother. And no, 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 he, her big brother, he's going to help. He going to help to her, he, he, his, uh -huh, his, he big, he big brother. And then uh, she worked. And at the six, six, no, at the five p.m. he he arrived to her, his house and see the tea. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Much better, much better. Good, Claudia. Tell me about your partners. Good evening, teacher. Um, what Luis said, Sandra just said, <laughs> I didn't have time to listen to what Sandra did. Ah, okay. No problem. No problem. It's okay. Good job. <laughs> the important is remember the verbs in the past tense. The t, d, yes. id. Remember when speaking, what did you do? Always remember the verbs in the past tense. Okay? Copy that. Excellent. All right. Today, we're going to continue. Yesterday, we saw a little bit of information. Today, we're going to review the information to make sure it's clear. Yesterday, we saw defining and non-defining clauses. Do you remember the difference? No. No? Okay. Yes? You explain us that yesterday. Yes, exactly. Defining is when you have um, you know who is doing the action, <laughs> and I I am not understand very well. You, you, you explained us yesterday and you explained it very well, but it's difficult for me to understand the difference. No problem, no problem. The, the non-defining and defining are similar. The two, the same function. The two is more information, more information. So Lillian, do you have a, a baby, a, a boy or a girl? Yes, a boy. Okay. Do you have two boys or one boy? One boy. Okay. So this is extra information is non-defining because you have one boy. But if you have two boys, 
is defining because it's specific information which boy. So the idea is, for example, me, I look, I have many students. Oh, but Lillian, only one student with the camera. And the other, the other students, only, only you and Luis have the camera. And the other is like the picture, right? This is defining, is I need the information to understand my student who has the camera is going to participate. Ah, my student is going to participate. Okay, but which student? I have many ah, specific that student with the camera. It's okay, the idea? Okay, so when you are explaining that defining is when you are doing specific information that you can understand the point, but yes. non defining, you only give the information and is general. Is extra information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So defining is necessary, non defining is extra. But the two, information, more information. Okay. Okay. Is better? Yes. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we're going to try, we're going to listen to the video again to help us. And then we're going to practice. So we're going to listen and watch the video. One more time, and then we're going to practice. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one. Defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. Okay, so remember, the idea is more information. This is the idea. The, the function of relative clauses and non-relative clauses is only to give more information. It's okay, the idea? And the structure too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to practice a little bit to help us, okay? To try to get a little bit better. The important is first, which are the correct words that we use? Normally we use who, which, where, when, who for people. 
where for places, which for things like objects. Yes? Can you repeat, please? Of course. Who we use for people? Where we use for places? Which we use for objects? And that we use for people and things. Thank you. You're welcome. In this moment, in the chat, in the chat here, we have two links. Those two links we're going to practice with our partners to help us understand a little bit more the relative clauses. And then we're going to continue in the platform. But first, we're going to practice the links to help us with the relative clauses. Okay? Open the links, and in this moment, we are going to work with the partners. Teacher. Yes, Gladys. My internet is driving me crazy. Like every day. <laughs> yes, I don't know why, but um, I can't connect uh, to the breaker room. Do you want me to try and send again? Thank you. Okay, let's try again.
Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. How how do you classify that kind of words? The word that you uh, follows who, that, which. Where? Of course. How do you classify it? I put in the chat for you. The name is called relative pronouns. Mm -hmm. Okay, relative pronouns. Mm -hmm. And those are some of them. We use many different ones. Who, that, which, when, where, why, how, but those are the ideas. It's similar, it's similar to WH words, right? WH questions, but it's not questions. That's why mm -hmm. pronouns. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? It's okay, it's clear. Yes. Great. So now what we're going to do is in 4.9, 4.9, we have relative pronouns. And the example that you practice with your partners, now we have to make the sentence. As an example here, a foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events and countries. We take the two sentences the two sentences and we make one sentence. It's okay, the example. The two and then you make one sentence. Remember, use a comma before and after if it's in the middle. Don't use a comma if it's at the end or if it's a specific information. With your partner, you're going to do numbers two, three, and four. Try to do and write correctly with a comma or no comma if it's necessary. It's okay, 4.8. Yes. Okay, good. So then let's go with our partners and try to complete 4.8 and check together.
Okay. It's okay? We chat together? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look and see if it's correct. Okay. Here, let me share my screen. Remember, number one was the example, right? Okay. What about number two? What is a web page designer needs sophisticated computer knowledge? How do we make this sentence correct? I guess I will try to say. Uh, Go ahead, go ahead. A web pages designer, designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Very nice. Remember, who is a graphic artist is extra information. So is comma, comma is correct. Very good. What about number three? What is number three? Um, editorial creation editor okay thank you sandra your internet is a little difficult to hear, but I'm going to show you. I think it's correct. I think you had it correct here. An uh, editorial page editor, comma, who is a daily newspaper columnist, comma, gives opinions about current issues. Good. What about number four? Luis, do you want to try number four? Luis, do you want to try number four? A gossip columns who gets to go to fabulous parties. Excuse me, I, I go, I'm going to start a gossip columns, comma, who gets to go to fabulous parties, comma, writes about celebrities and, and scandals. Very good, that is correct. Very good, those are extra, excellent. Any questions? No, teacher. No, remember, comma, commas. The two, if you don't have the comma, it's going to be wrong. Okay, great. Now we're going to go to the reading practice. Here, the word is plagiarism. Plagiarism. What are we going to do? We're going to read this article right here. Amen. The most important part. I think we're going to put this a little bit over here in the pop-up there so let's read together Ooh, maybe too big yes i think this is correct okay let's read together and check the pronunciation and the meaning who would like to read the first paragraph from recently all the way here to protest mm -hmm. 
Me, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Recently, a, bio a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national coma and even international coma news period. Thank you, Liz. It's not necessary comma in in uh, period when you are reading. Only for the only okay. for the writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. As, after Christine Pel Pelton discovered that twenty eight uh, of her and of her one hundred eighteen students had plagi plagi plagiarized 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 part of a major project. She gave them failing grades. Also, this was the school policy. The students' parents complained. The school board indirected Mrs. Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders uh, rather than the entire uh, 1,800 points. Mrs. Pelton resigned in protest. Thank you, Luis. Are there any words you don't understand? No? Okay. Let's go to the next paragraph. Who is going to read the next paragraph? From why? Okay. To it. Me, teacher. Okay. Why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raised some important question. What is a plagiarism? How serious it is? Good, it's okay, all the vocabulary. Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Who's going to read the next? Okay. The simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material, material without giving credit to the source. Wherever, however, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. 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 Okay. Good. It's okay, the vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Good. Who is next? From some to plagiarized? It's okay, don't be scared to read. It's not a problem. Again? <laughs> I see, because Walter doesn't read. Okay, go ahead, Lillian. Okay, teacher, I'm sorry, I have a problem. Okay, Walter, no problem. Okay. Uh, uh, right now. Okay. Uh, some, some people, some people claim that copying, copying is necessary to do well in school. 
they have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figure, figures, including, including Martin Luther King Jr. How plagiarism. Plagiarized. 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 Good. Good. Any vocabulary? Plagiarize is to copy. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The next paragraph. No, Jasmine? No, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. So what, brother? No, although. Uh, although some people find reason or justify plagiarisms, other feel the issue is clear cut. They feel it is morally wrong and consider it stealing a uh, death of ideas rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefit unfairly. They receive a better grade than they deserve. Okay, good. Any vocabulary? Uh, unfairly, teacher. Is not not fair and fairly is that maybe you steal a chicken and you go to jail for 20 years this is not fair thank you you're welcome and clear cut is black and white so clear cut is like the idea black and white is very easy to identify it's okay Clear cut, it says that it's uh, like the two things in the same. It can be opposite. I don't understand it. Blanco y negro. Ah. It's clear cut, black or white. It's not, it's not maybe, it's not great. No, it's clear cut. Is yes is correct or no is not correct. Okay. It's, this is clear cut. Radical. More or less, the, the clear cut is no confusion. It's easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Who's going to read the last part? And the last one? Wow, it's a lot of people and only only two or three people read. What happened, what happened? Can I read? <laughs> yes, Lillian. Por lo visto, nadie más puede leer. Okay, Lillian, go ahead. <laughs> so what about the incident in Kansas? What the original punishment to severe? The teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong. Mrs. Pelton will probably say that the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, very good. Any, any vocabulary? No. no okay great so what are we going to do in this moment super easy we are already read okay so this part is not graded it's only about discussion with your partner we're going to discuss what did you understand from the reading 
explain in your own words, okay? What is the article? What is the problem? Why people agree, why people disagree? The idea is explain in your own words. Don't be scared to make a mistake. Have confidence. It's okay. It's no problem if you make a mistake. Practice, explain by yourself what you think is the article. Okay? We're going to go five minutes with our partners. Okay. Okay, we are going to pause right there. Very good. Tomorrow we begin unit five. Remember, we only have five classes to finish unit five and the exam.
So tomorrow we begin, and then tomorrow, the last day, then we go to the vacation, and then we continue unit five after the vacation, okay? Hey, teacher. Thank okay, you so much teacher. for connecting. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming. I see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.